20th of May, 1983. This is a frustrating situation. I have so very many words to say about yesterday evening and I choke trying to express them all at once. I might as well admit it. I think I have fallen hopelessly in love with Kent. Skip a bunch. My obsession consumes much of my energy. I cannot call my fascination an enslavement because I am strong-willed enough to walk away as I did with Martin. It is not clear to me why, but I cannot walk away from Kent. I've had huge crushes in the past, but not like this. I want for Kent to be here with me right now. On the first and brightest star of this evening, I wished for Kent's friendship. I must have it, because it is the most glittering and exotic jewel. How preposterous. A man in love with another man? Not exactly, but more like a free-spirited child in love with a special person. All sorts of images of deviant sexuality arise, but I vehemently protest such charges. I am perfectly normal. I am beyond ordinary, therefore extraordinary. It is impossible for me to be homosexual because I rise above sexuality. I master it. 